Your internet bill may go up from 16 to $40 next month or even more than that. If you're one of the nearly 23 million American households that get subsidies through the Affordable Connectivity Program, which is right now winding down. Some lawmakers are increasing their push to refund it, but Amy Kiley reports the FCC also has some new requirements to help you with the costs. The most successful internet affordability program in our nation's history will soon run out of money unless Congress acts. New efforts are underway to stop internet prices from surging next month for nearly 23 million American households. The Affordable Connectivity Program is almost out of money. Now the FCC is set to cut subsidies by more than half in May. Without new funding, later they'll be gone. From education to employment to scheduling health care appointments to access to health services, Everyone deserves affordable internet access. Some lawmakers are increasing their push to keep funding the program. A bipartisan Senate bill to give it $7 billion has five co-sponsors after two joined yesterday. A House plan has majority support in the chamber, but it's unclear if Speaker Mike Johnson will bring it to the floor. House Republicans are pushing to rein in government spending, and the program is left over from the pandemic. High-speed internet isn't a luxury anymore. It's an absolute necessity. The Biden administration is trying to help consumers understand provider fees with a new regulation unveiled yesterday. A lot of times there's hidden fees, things like data caps or throttling, or you have to pay more for data. The FCC now requires internet providers to use what looks like a nutrition label. It shows plan details like fees and services. The hope is that if it's more transparent, you can make a better choice as a consumer. I'm Amy Kiley reporting. Coming up in the next half hour, we're learning much more right now.